Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. In this video, we are going to learn how to redirect error rows from flat file source in SSIS package. We will learn how to create SSIS package and read the data from a flat file source. We will learn different type of errors such as data conversion error or truncation error in flat file source. So let's go to the folder and take a look on the file what we have here. We have ID and name columns and some values for this uh, these columns so we have three rows uh, that we will be using for this demo id is one amir two raza three john so now what we need to do we need to create uh, an ssis package by using bids or ssdt so i have a uh, latest version i'm um, using ssis 2012 so i can create uh, the package by using uh, ssdt you will be creating uh, by using bids uh, if you are using uh, old versions uh, so once the package is created, get the data flow task. Inside the data flow task, you will be bringing the flat file source. So here's the flat file source. Bring the flat file. Let's create a new connection. So browse and select the file. Now everything is selected automatically. In my case, it's fine. But in your case, if you are using different type of file, you can change these setting according to your file so now go to columns and we see there are two columns id and name go to advanced and here in id we see that it is reading the data as a string 50 that's not right i want to convert that to string uh, sorry integer so i convert it to integer in the name also it is reading as the worker 50 dtstr 50 so i want to convert that to only 10 because I know my first name never should come more than 10 characters. So that's our requirement. Now preview the data. Everything looks good. Hit OK. Retain null values from the source as null values in the data flow. That means if you are getting some blank values and you want to convert them to the null, this is what you will use. Hit on columns. All good. Next part, I don't want to write this data to any destination, but I will be using multicast here so I can implement a data viewer and that's how we will see the records flowing from flat file source to the multicast so let me put data viewer data viewer is a way to see the records visually in the uh, ssdt or bids while you are debugging your package or running it so enable it we have selected two columns hit ok now if i run this package it is going to read three records from the file and show us in the by using the data viewer and we we have read all those uh, records correctly next part understanding the data conversion and the truncation errors so now we'll go back to the file and let's create some problems okay so here we say 1a now as one cannot be converted to integer it should throw an error so let's go run the package and understand and read the error so here the uh, flat file source is failing itself go to the view go to the output window and here we'll see bunch of errors so the very first line tells us details of error the data conversion for id return status to and status text is the value could not be converted because of potential loss of data so that's the reason as the values in the source file is coming 1a that cannot be converted to the integer and it is given as data conversion error that's great so we learn how to create the data conversion error in the flat file source and how to read the error in the uh, error uh, window now next part we want to do we want to create a truncation error so let's open this one re modify back to the original value and here instead of uh, Amir put Amir Shahzad now we are good this time as we have defined uh, the width of that uh, name column 10 uh, and we have more values coming in uh, it is going to create problem so run the package it failed again as you can see it failed next part uh, what we want to do we want to read that error so in the output window what we have here we have error this one so it is saying data conversion for column name return value 4 
in the case of conversion actually it was same value 2 but now for name it is same value 4 and the, the more detail about the error is the, the text was truncated or one or more characters had no match in target code page so as we know that uh, this uh, values uh, uh, has more characters uh, than what we have defined uh, in the flat file source uh, th so the truncation is happening now we understand the both type of errors uh, this part we are going to deal with them here this is my requirement uh, they are saying uh, doesn't matter if uh, the error is happening uh, we want to read that record and uh, if uh, there is a value that cannot be convertible you can just uh, simply put the null values uh, there so go to the flat file and here error outputs uh, and then we have options here if uh, on error for, let's take first uh, on the error so let me go back fix the file we want to play with the data conversion first and then with the truncation part so right now we converted the value to from 1 to 1a it means it will create data conversion so what I'm saying in the package if ID is not able to read that data as it is um, now it is alphanumeric data and uh, we are just uh, trying to convert to the uh, integer what you should do don't fail the component by default it is fail component that's why it was failing actually ignore the failure so this is what we want if ID has a value that cannot be converted so ignore the failure hit ok and let's sorry uh, change here ignore failure and change here as well you can select multiple columns here and uh, apply these changes to all of them so now we are just doing ID hit ok as we have ignored the failure what is going to happen the value it cannot uh, convert uh, it will just convert that to the null and rest of those columns values will be read correctly so this is how we can uh, read the value if our requirement is read the data whatever you can and if uh, you cannot read uh, the data just uh, read null so that's the uh, one way to do it next part uh, our requirement says no we are not interested in uh, putting null values because that's not correct information we want to ignore that or we want to redirect that and we don't want we don't care about that record at all so bring the multicast here this time we will be using error output so here instead of ignore failure now we will be using a redirect row so and we will say redirect row here apply apply now we should be flat files source will read the three records and the two records will flow to the correct multicast and the one will be going to the error multicaster but here you will see what exactly will go there now you, you can see that ID and name are read correctly for 2 and 3 and for ID 1 that's the name Amir um, actually not 1 it is 1a so that is not read so let's close this one one thing we did mistake here we wanted to put a data viewer here so I could show you the error output okay let's start so this is a, the output side for the correct records so we have two uh, records coming in and here it is telling us uh, okay flat file source error column long text error code this error column so we don't have 10 number column we have ID and name but SSIS does not provide the name of the column it provide the lineage ID or the number that we are seeing here so that's how the SSIS packet does but that's really confusing there is a lot of debate going on people want to have their na column name and that does make sense because that's how we would know that which column created the problem I have created a, uh, a blog in which I was reading the Excel sorry XML package file before even starting my package and same in the lineage ID and the column names and then using those by using the lookups to find out the error column name by using this error column number but this is a 2012 I don't have a post on a 2012 or 2014 the, pa the package definition 
file also has kind of changed the way it was in 20, uh, 2008 or 2005 and now they have totally different XML format. So I didn't work on that one. But anyways, you will not be able to get the error column name here. And uh, this information, the data cannot be converted because of the reason it is not mismatching and all that. That's the same error we saw in the error output. So let's close this one. Let me go back and tell you one good solution about that. If uh, we are in the situation, we want to know that error. I will suggest you read everything from flat file, maybe your NWARCAR 300 so, or NWARCAR 500 and put that to into some staging table and then read the data from staging and use the derived column or data conversion and redirect at that point whichever cannot be converted to the integer value. By using that you will be able to see at least the other values of that record. Here as the flat file source is trying to read it didn't really read that record and it just created the error output for that record. So we can't really tell uh, what exactly was the value. So I will suggest uh, going with the reading the data from the flat file as an worker for each column put into staging and then uh, from staging use the um, drive column or data conversion and have that row redirected. Now we understand uh, how to redirect the rows. Next part we want to do for truncation. Here we are going to set the values fine and for name we want to convert that to Amish Shahzad and it will create truncation problem we know that as well so let's uh, run this one so it failed as we didn't have any setting uh, for the name column so stop it and truncation happen double click here go to error output for name as error is happening on truncation so what we want to do we want to redirect that row and here redirect direct row apply apply now this package should not fail. It should read uh, two records on the correct uh, or uh, the output it can read and one row is uh, redirected. And we can see the error column number is 13, doesn't say name at all, and uh, but it does say that data was truncated. So this is confusing but at least it helps you uh, to understand and uh, you can plan out before even uh, you know implementing the solution. So let's close this one. The last thing I want to tell you here, if you will go to the error output, you can set them individually. Uh, let's say for ID, we want to redirect row uh, or ignore failure. So you can do that. And um, for name, you can do the same thing. If you want to ignore failure on the data conversion or something, but to redirect on truncation, you can do that. So these two settings you have on, on uh, error like this uh, and then you have on truncation so truncation when things doesn't fit uh, into the defined uh, data type uh, or uh, the length here when the data conversion issues happen or any other type of issues happen so you can select all of them if you want and then uh, uh, go ahead and change them to the redirect rows so most of the time we do redirect the rows but depending on the requirement once again thanks very much for watching this video and uh, I know the videos are lengthy, but uh, they will teach you a lot of basic uh, to advanced stuff. And I learn and do experiments and uh, that's how we should be doing it. So there, there are some small certain things that are hidden. Like in this case, we never knew that, okay, uh, uh, we, how we get error column name here and what is error column number here. So uh, by doing it, by playing with it, you will learn more. So I encourage you not to watch the video, but go ahead and create the package and play with it and uh, learn the things. Good luck and I will see you next video.